Long ago, the four nations lived together in harmony. Then, everything changed when the Fire Nation attacked. Only the Avatar, master of all four elements, could stop them. But when the world needed him the most, he vanished. A hundred years passed, they discovered the Avatar, he developed his ability and had the power to defeat Fire Lord Wuzan. But he didn't kill him. Instead, he embraced a peaceful approach and took away his bending. Ulysses S. Grant said, and I quote, I have never advocated war, except as a means of peace. But Timilulu Abolaoli, like Avatar Hank, is not a man that preaches or stands for war at all. He tries his best to foster peace and understanding by encouraging dialogue in conflict situations in order to prevent wars. I am Timilulu Abolaoli, and I belong to Einstein's school of thoughts that believes peace cannot be achieved by force. It can only be achieved by understanding. Well, today, I will be enlightening you on what peace is, what conflict is, the nature of conflict and how it is a part of human life, and then drive on my point and topic of this speech. Peace is not the absence of conflict, but the ability to handle conflict by peaceful means. Peace is a concept of societal friendship and harmony in the absence of violence and hostility. Ojuan Gautong, Nobel Prize winner and founder of Peace and Conflict Studies Discipline, describes peace as a positive and dynamic condition where individuals and social groups have the opportunity and resources to grow and develop to their fullest potential. And where conflicts, where conflicts are managed in a constructive and non-violent way. He acknowledges the management of conflict in a non-violent way as peace. Well, you will know why as we progress. He divided the concept of peace into two. Positive peace, which is the presence of justice, equity, tranquility, and negative peace, which is the absence of war and violence. Now, this is where we'll be dwelling on. See, conflict is a clash of interests. It's a clash of ideas and values. It is the presence of incompatible goals between two people or parties that lead to disagreements or tension. This is as a result of their individual backgrounds, ideologies, beliefs clashing with that of others. Now, according to the Handbook of Conflict Resolution Theory and Views by Deutsch et al. 2000, conflict is viewed as inevitable as it arises from differences and diversities from individuals in individuals, in groups, and in societies. See, people have different beliefs, different values, different opinions, and conflict is bound to develop as a result. This is because man is bound to interact, being a social animal. However, conflict can provide an opportunity for individuals and groups to learn more about each other's perspective and to develop, even develop more effective ways of communicating. And collaborating. Using Avatar Ang's and Zuko's collaboration as an example, the collaboration led to the creation of a peaceful republic. Thus, peaceful collaborations or employing peaceful means to resolve conflict will lead to peaceful coexistence. Even the chapter 7 articles 39, even the chapter 7 articles 39 to 42 of the United Nations Charter recognizes this and advocates peaceful approach to conflict resolution because it helps prevent harm, destruction of lives and properties that lead to psychological scars. But this is only possible if conflict is managed in peaceful manners. Such peaceful manners include dialoguing, negotiation and mediation. Dialoguing is simply a process in which individuals engage in respect respectful, open-minded discussions negotiation is like dialoguing it involves the interactive process between parties in the conflict towards a win-win situation and mediation involves the intervention of an external party to try to negotiate ensure negotiation all these approaches have in mind the need to maintain and foster societal friendship in its operations there is a need to equip people with this skill to ensure peace is not the absence of conflict 
It is equipping people with the skills to resolve conflict non-violently.